Welcome everyone to another episode of Devon Joe's in the Kitchen. So for this dish, we are using double potato, meaning that we are using both sweet potato and Irish potato. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is get a container with some water. This water is to ensure that our sweet potato, which is normally easily discolored, has something to stop the oxidization. And that means to stop the potato from changing from that nice bright yellow or orange color that it might have to brown. So we get our vegetable peeler and we work as fast as we can peeling our sweet potato. For persons who don't really like the stickiness, you can use disposable gloves, you can put them on and that prevents your hand from becoming uh, sticky. So we work as fast as we can. So as soon as we peel, we just drop it into the bowl of water that we have. All right, so like I said before, we're doing the double potato, fish and lobster pot pie. The potato, is doubled because you have some persons who like sweet potato and you have some persons who like the Irish potato and so we thought to ourselves what better way to give you the best of both worlds and so we have done the double potato salad and persons have tasted it and they have loved it and so we decided that we are going to be doing the double potato pot pie. So we get our Irish potatoes now and we peel. For this I am using one pot. Normally whenever I'm doing double potato salads, one of the things that I normally do is to use two pots because you know sweet potato boils a lot quicker than Irish potato and you don't want the sweet potato to become too soft especially if you want chunks of potatoes in your salad but for this one because everything is going into one i am using one pot which is already on the fire and um we're just waiting for it to bubble yeah bubble waiting for it to boil for those of you who don't know what bubble means it means to boil and so we are ready now to cut our potatoes. Now for these, we won't cut them in more than just one inch cube. Because like we said, these are going to be boiled and then some person say mash or crush, whichever word you want to use. So we are going to cut them up quickly as possible. As soon as they're cut, remember to just add back to your water so that they color stays so now we're ready to add our potatoes to the boiling water this has not been salted yet why because it makes the water boil a lot quicker if you don't add the salt until it is or it has started to boil to this pot of boiling water we are going to add two teaspoons of salt. And we're going to let this boil for 15 minutes. Our filling is going to be coconut fish and lobster with vegetables. And so far vegetable we have about half pounds of pak choy. You can buy this at any market. And we are going to roughly chop these. Place that one side. We are also going to add about half of a cabbage. Alright, so let me try and weigh this. So this is about half pound of cabbage. Roughly chopped again. Also, we're 
so we have one cup of frozen vegetables that we are going to add to it too. This is going to give it a nice color and we have our vegetables which will be added nutrients plus these nutrients plus it does serve as double with colors. So we have some sweet pepper also, just half of a sweet pepper. So we roughly chop them because we don't want them to be lost in our pie. We want persons to taste all the flavors. So like I was saying, I tried the double pot pie, but I did it with barbecue chicken before. And one of the persons that tried it said they enjoyed it so much. Another thing that we found out from it was that she allowed her son, who doesn't eat a lot, to try it. And as a matter of fact, she said the son ate it off. Or ate off most of it, so she didn't really get a lot. But we know for a fact that this is delicious. It is healthy and it is also delicious. So we are going to now go to our seasoning. So one large onion. We are going to roughly chop that again. I always say to persons, if you are not a knife expert, don't worry yourself about chopping fast or trying to look like Bobby Flay or any of those. No, you don't have to do that. Just take your time and do what you can do. So one large onion roughly chopped. We are going to be using some scallion. I like to use fresh seasoning. I don't use powder seasoning in any of my food. So we roughly chop about the first half of scallion. Fresh thyme. And last but not least, my favorite, and as you would guess by now, my favorite is definitely going to be the garlic. So I'm using for this recipe, I'm using about, let me see, one head of garlic. Now we are going to be looking at our lobster and our fish. I normally said I was born not rich, wasn't born rich, and so we had to make use of whatever we had in the house. So this is sliced fish, this is way cheaper than fish fillet. Fish fillet can be used, and so I am using some leftover sliced fish that I have. So this is about half pound of sliced fish. If you want, you can use maybe about a pound depending on your family. This dish will be able to serve four persons. Now, if you have family members who don't like fish or they're allergic to seafood, you can always use chicken or you can just use the vegetables alone with some peas to ensure that you have a balanced meal. All right, so we're just cutting up our fish and lobster meat. And so we are here now to check our potatoes to see how they are doing. Looking lovely, the water is boiling so much. And so it simply means now that we are going to just test them. So I'll take up one to look at what the texture is like. And as you can see, just to test it on the side of the pot. Wow, that's cooked. And that is cooked. So now we can remove the heat from our potato. And we're going to drain this for about two minutes so that most of the water content comes out. Of. We're going to add three tablespoons of butter. Give it a little stir so that it melts quickly. And to this now, we are going to add our fish and lobster. I want you to realize that I did not say anything about salt as yet. Why? Because based on the fact that the butter has a lot of salt content, we will have to taste it first to judge how much salt we put in it. 
So we give that a little stir and we let it saute for about a minute or two after which we stir it again and then we test it to see how much salt content it has. So now we are going to add our vegetables. We are going to add one cup of coconut cream. Mm. The scent is uh, aromatic. If that's all you know, I'm going to put the word. And we're just going to let this simmer for a minute or two so that the coconut juice can be infused or filling from the stove top. And it's here. Smelling all delicious. I want to taste it. Soon taste it, let you see. And um, we have our base. And to our base, which is the sweet potato and the Irish potato, we have added two tablespoons of butter to help us to crush it or mash it. For those of you who would say mash or crush, whichever word you like to use. No. For those of you who like a little chunky chunky, you like little chunks in your food, like me. Alright, you just can't bother to crush all it. Waste time. Because anyway you take it, it is going to be crushed in the mouth. You just crush as much as you can. So that you can have a little spread. Now, the secret to this. Like I said, is to ensure that you drain out as much of the water as possible after boiling so that it doesn't become too soggy so that when you are ready to cut it now and then it is all bushy So, alright, so I think this is good enough So we are ready now to make our pie we have disposable tins for these. So I'm using disposable tins. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to give the inside a nice coating of non-stick spray so that when I'm ready to cut, it can cut extremely easy. And when I'm ready to take it out, it comes out easily. All right. I wonder if you ever do this brown without the spoon. Ah. This is what I normally use because I like to feel my food. So I get my disposable gloves. And to help me, I have my non-stick spray again. And I just take out some with my hands and I push it down in there. Alright, so I'm just going to give a nice evil coating at the bite at the bottom or base. Bring some up to the side. And you will see that it has some little chunks on the inside. So while you're eating, you will still get the feel of the Irish potato and also the sweet potato. And if you re you'll realize now that using the non-stick spray actually helps me to spread it way easier than if I was not using the non-stick spray. And using my hands actually helped me to move a little faster and it helps me to get this really done quickly. Alright, so I'm just going to do one, pop this in the oven and then I'll come back to the other one after. So you guys can see how it is done. So having done that now, remove this, put it one side. We're ready now for our filling. So our coconut, our butter coconut, lobster and fish filling with vegetables is ready so let's fill up our tin and we want to we want it to be what should we say just just excuse us after we look at it can you see it all right so i'll hold it up in my hand so that you can see the filling going inside look at that 
I am look I am sure that some of you are watching now and saying, "Why well, this man not hurry up and just let me know exactly everything we have to do, and then how long we must bake it so that I can go and try it." All right, so I think this is enough filling. For those of you who want to add cheese to it, you can go ahead and add your cheese. I won't use all of the filling because you know sometimes this is for me, you know, for me to taste. So like I said to you guys, I'm going to taste it. I am done. Seriously? I am done. For those of you who don't believe me, I want you to try this. Don't think about how I want to do this video. I think I'll just eat this as it is and go along. Alright, so let's move on. So we get another disposable gloves. And this time we're going to add the topping to our filling. Yes. So for the disposable gloves, more non-stick spray. This time I'm going to spread it on. Now you realize now that you won't have any pretty top. Let's just uh, work with both hands. So working with both hands to get it. So to help us along, just put some non-stick spray on it so that we can get a little better spread. Ah, oh, perfect. All right. All right. Looks like a pie now, don't. Mm -mm. So now we are going to pop this in the oven for about. Because everything is already cooked. All we want is for the top to get a nice golden brown color and a little crust. So we're just going to put this in the oven and we are going to leave it there for about 15 minutes. Alright, so come with me as we go to the oven. 